what is up just got to Austin and today I'm gonna film a little bit of what I eat do a workout and do a Q&A so let's go to go to the gym first I'm going to try these BCAAs that is one of the supplements that I still take and EHP lab sent me these and they're vegan so I'm excited to try them for the first time don't open them with your teeth it's not good it smells good Our first movement is going to be push-ups, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and grab a ball and do a different variation called ball push-ups, really engaging our core and making sure to get a deeper range of motion. I often like to add different elements into our workout so we're utilizing all of our muscles. I feel like arms and core sometimes are neglected with women, so I really like to target those. It's me becoming stronger and seeing what you're capable of doing. This next movement is shoulder taps. Again, this really, really engages your upper body as well as your core and midsection. Again, we're gonna grab a weighted ball and we're gonna do ab twist. Really, really twisting, making sure to hit the ground and getting that full range of motion. Dying bugs. I feel like I need to come up with a different name for this one that's more vegan friendly, yeah? I really, really like these. I remember there was a time that I couldn't even do these. They were super difficult for me. And now that I've developed more core strength, I am able to do them. And I feel like this movement alone is just phenomenal for abs. Next, we'll go into toe touches and really make sure that you're reaching over your toes and feeling that stretch. Notice on this movement, I take my hands and place them underneath my back. That really, really helped me when achieving this movement. I used to not be able to do laying leg raises. Man, say that five times fast. Um, but placing my hands underneath my back for that extra support has really helped with this movement and has ultimately made my core so much stronger. The last movement that we have is going to the lateral plank walk. Again, it really engages all of your upper body, hitting those triceps, those shoulders, and engaging your core throughout this whole movement. We are going to complete this whole entire circuit four times. Now let me show you exactly what I eat in a day during my September shred and take you to watch the Q&A. Okay, what's up? Just chilling. Just got done with the workout, waiting on Candace to get ready, and then I did my workout fasted, so I'm gonna go get my first meal of the day, and I'm thinking a green smoothie, so let's go get it. I just got the Paradise Found, and there is pineapple, mango, guyasa, blue magic, ginger, and lemon. It's, there is... It's goy, it's goy yusa. I remember saying it wrong. I you, saying. She told me how to say that right before I got in here, don't worry. <laughs> You're the one who told me how to say that. Uh -huh. <laughs> how do you say it? Goyusa. Okay, goyusa, which is like a, it's a tea, right? It, yeah. They said it was like a cleaner form of energy. There is banana in it, but I took the banana out to make it a little bit more of a low carb option. All right, I like for my meals to start off light and then get heavier throughout the day. So for my first snack, I'm gonna have these crackers and this hummus. 
Each cracker actually contains over five grams of protein and I find these at Sprouts. For my second meal, I'm going to have a salad with chickpeas. I love to chew my vegetables raw. I really feel like I'm getting in all the nutrients that way. And I like to incorporate chickpeas. They are a great form of a whole foods plant-based protein. This is a dressing that I also use often and really enjoy. My last meal is gonna be my high carb meal. This is an oil-free meal. It consists of lentils, beets, sauteed kale, rice, and vegetables. And for dessert, I have one scoop of blessed protein caramel flavor. Welcome to my Q&A. We're gonna do some questions today. Today, we're gonna do a Q&A. So, I'm going over some of the questions right now. I'm working on my answer then. Let's see. So first question is, Biggie or Tupac? Tupac. How long have you been on a plant-based diet? I am going on a plant-based diet now for three years. What's the best protein that you've ever had? Currently, I'm really feeling blessed protein. Salted caramel specifically. It's vegan, go vegan. Let's see there, What's, Can I have your cell phone number? Can I have your number? Can I have your number? Two eight one three three oh eight zero zero four. Two eight one three three oh eight zero zero four. How do you make your social media by like researching a lot. I want to tell you that it's like all these creative ideas just come to you out of nowhere, but that's not how it goes. It's like a lot of work and you're doing it all the time and consistent and it will pop. Um, okay, was there a moment in your life that makes you take seriously the fitness lifestyle? Yes, there was a big moment in my life where I started to take fitness more seriously. Whenever I realized that Fitness was the one thing that was gonna give me back exactly what I put into it. I made sure to really start putting my time there because that wasn't something um, you see all the time, you know? Sometimes you're in situations where you don't get what you give and fitness definitely gives you exactly what you put into it and I wanted it to be good, so I started putting my time into that. And now I only put my time into stuff that I know I'll get back exactly what I put in. Best advice ever. Uh. What's your favorite drink? I like greens. <laughs> okay, um, what is your biggest fear? Quote by FDR. There's nothing to fear except fear itself. Okay, how did you create the necessary consistency to videos? YouTube, difficult to me. YouTube was really difficult to me too. I look up to a lot of people who are really, really good at this and I constantly am watching um, people who I want to be like and they have all told me that consistency is key. So no matter what, whether I felt like it or not, I just kept on being consistent and that's what I'm gonna continue to do and that is the best advice that I can give you when it comes to YouTube, social media or anything, just being consistent, whether it's learning behind the scenes or posting or anything, just be consistent always and that momentum will definitely get you somewhere, I promise. It was told to me and by doing that, it definitely has worked. There's no magic pill to any of it. Consistency is key to life. Life! Really build this amazing physique by mainly doing body weight exercises. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you for saying this physique is amazing. Um, yes, honestly, I started in the bodybuilding industry and competed there and I was an athlete, did volleyball and tennis. So I've definitely been in the fitness background, but for the last like two years, 80 to 90% body weight training, and that's my favorite. <laughs> Can you provide a vegan dietary chart and a link of meals with recipes? Yes, my PDF is coming up very, very soon after this shred, and I cannot wait to show you what we've made. It's gonna be really, really helpful, so definitely stay tuned for that, and you can have it for a free download. Why so hot? Thank you, that's so sweet. What's your favorite Christmas gift of all time? Peace and love. Um, no, honestly, I just love hanging out with my family and friends. And the food, we make really good food. Really, really good being a food around then. It's fun. Um, your body size exactly. Exactly what does that mean? I don't know. What do you do? I actually hate that question, I really do. Like, why do people ask that? What do you do? What do you do? I'm gonna do me, bruh. Um, okay, this is starting to. <laughs> you know, you are my goat, right? Bye. Bye. <laughs> the 
Thank you. I always see you comment. I love when you say that. Y'all are the best. Mm. Okay. Post your arse. But why the F do you not post your buh raps? So confused right now. I'm so confused right now why you're taking the time to write this comment though. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's been your biggest regret? Hashtag no regrets. What are your main sources of vegan protein and how many grams do you intake a day? I honestly don't count my daily intake, but my main sources for vegan protein, I'm gonna have a PDF out on this very, very soon. Real quick, off the top of my head are gonna be um, chickpeas, any beans, lentils, quinoa. I do still take a protein powder. I use Blessed Protein Salted Caramel, it's my favorite. If you want, my discount code is Erica10. Um, it doesn't have that chalky aftertaste and I really like it. But besides that, I'll have a PDF out with like literally huge, 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 huge list coming very soon because I definitely want to help you all with that and it's gonna be something very accessible to everyone. The last time I played tennis, it has been Honestly, it's been a while. Who asked that? How did you know that I played tennis? It's been about like a, probably a year, but I need to go play because it is fun and it's a good form of cardio. Last question for today. My good friend, John Lewis, AKA Badass Vegan. He says, how do I work on my stance for my pictures? Well, John, let me show you. Candace, how do we do it? It's all about the angles. We're gonna get up there, arch your back a little bit. All right, second so tummy, abs, 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 abs. Turn toward me a little bit, not the torso. There you go, then turn torso, abs, 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 abs. Am I sticking it out enough? Arch, just stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining my Q&A, and I will be back for the next YouTube. Thank you all for watching. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, 